hemp. I think that's what they're called. I don't know, that's what I heard. Yeah, I've heard that before. Um, <clears throat> they did a study. Uh, Jen, um, let's get into politics, but uh, boomers are mostly Republican. Yeah. Um, I forget the one that comes, what's after the boomers at what, what are boomers they? are what again 1960s area no boomers are from like 19 uh, 40 to 19 like 50 something well 1940s to like 19, early 1960s or somewhere in there <clears throat> our parents are technically from 1970s yeah they're flower children something like that yeah they're they're mixed they're about 50 50 both ways they go both, they either do, some of them are Republicans, some of them are Democrat. Millennials are... Actually, no, the flower children are more Democratic because of the whole war, uh, the Vietnam War and whatnot. I wouldn't say that entirely. There's a lot of them that are mostly uh, Republican because of R Ronald Reagan. Yeah. But Millennials are mostly Democrats, but they do have a lot of Republicans in them. Gen Zs are mostly Democrat. Mm -hmm. Basically, they're they're kind of, they have the sort of equality and um, um, you know like representation sort of ideals that like Gen Zs and Millennials have, but they don't have the whole oh we're sensitive about everything and these people are terrible and they should be hated sort of deal that the Gen Zs and Millennials have. Ah, so maybe things will get better. So, like, they can understand the problems of both what the boomers and the millennials have caused. It's sort of like a mix of both of the goods of both of them, and then understanding the bads of both of them. I'm hoping it gets better. I'm just hoping that this isn't just a phase for a lot of them. Yeah. <clears throat> but who knows? We'll see what happens. Since the problem now is that a lot of the Gen Z and Millennials are the ones that are going to be going into power. Yeah. And they're going to be the ones that are going to be calling the shots for a while. But considering how the... I think it... I don't know if Gen Millennials Z... Millennials have been in power for a little bit. Well, not entirely because boomers are huge, but like... I'm talking about like... Millennia, there are more Millennials being in Congress. More Millennials being mayors and governors. There's not as many because there's they're mostly either like you said the flower children or boomers. Mm -hmm. um, that's mainly because most millennials right now are under the age that are, allows them to run for any sort of office. They're either like in their their mid to late twenties or early thirties. I could be wrong though. I don't I don't know the whole process. All I know is that once the, I think, I'm not sure if Gen Z is Zoomers or not, I don't know, but basically the latest generation that's growing up right now seems to be more of a, uh, we understand what's bad, and like we understand what's good about prog uh, progressivism, so we're not, we're going to do the good parts of it and ignore the bad parts of it, whereas we're going to understand what's, you know, like, okay, this is terrible, let's not say this or do this, but let's also not be oversensitive and censor everybody f for certain things, like, oh, this cartoon character has huge tits, let's not get oversensitive about it, it's just a cartoon character. Let's actually focus on, you know, real problems. Sadly, by the time that happens, by the time they get in sort of any sort of major influence in politics, and in media, we'll all be old. Yeah, we'll be old people. We'll be the people being like, we'll be the bo <laughs> the boomer. Yeah, dang these old kids, and they're. Uh, I I have no idea what'll be up by then. I don't know, but they'll probably be. The it'll be funny is they'll be like uh, they'll be, instead of be like it'll be, like, silence millennial. <laughs> yeah. Or silence flower <clears throat> child. Because the flower children will technically be the boomers, and we'll be like, um, 
There are the one before the boomers is called the Silent Generation. I believe. No, no, no. No, no. Okay, hold on. It's the there's there's the Gen Z, which is that's I don't know if the newest generation has a name. They just some people call them Zoomers, but there's Gen Z, then there's Millennials, then after that is the what you whatever you said, but they're called Gen Y actually, I believe. Who? Um, the our parents, something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the one before our that, children is like their nickname because they were all hippies. The one before that is the Silent Generation, which was the one from like the '60s and '50s. Boomers are the ones from the twenty or from the '40s to the '30s. And then the greatest generation is from the 20s to the, the 1910s. Yeah, you got the baby boomers, the millennials, Gen Z, silent generation, greatest generation. Yeah, that's the one, that's like the before World War... Uh, the silent generation, this is the demographic cohort following the greatest generation. Spitfire Pokemon? I think I know what it is, but I want to answer it wrong. Did you answer all these wrong to battle the trainers to level up? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, I think so. The generations planner thing has like all the generations in um the lost generation, which is um eighteen ninety to nineteen fifteen. What was it? The lost generation. It's eighteen ninety to nineteen fifteen. They're called that because they're almost all all completely died out, probably. Because their their age is from one oh four to one twenty nine. Then after that is the interbellum generation, which is 1901 to 1913, which is like in between there, I guess. Yeah. It's like a 10-year gap. It's like obviously, like every 10 years, there's another generation or something. No, because like the interbellum generation is in between the lost and the greatest generation, but they're like their years intertwined for some reason. Oh. And the greatest generation is 1910 to 1924, which is... Yeah, and then after that is the silent generation, which is 1925 to 1945, which is 74 to 94. And then baby boomers are 1946 to 1964. Yeah. And then generation X, which is called baby bust, is 1965 to 1979 and then and then the next one is Zennials which is it's us or me which is a millennial basically no Zennial is 1975 to 1985 but why does that but they mix the years in for some reason I know I'm answering these I'm bad on purpose I'm gonna train it and level up Why do you have a robber in your gym? And then after Xennial is Millennial, Generation Y, or Gen Next, which is all the names for those. And that's um, 1980 to 1994. Oh, wow. And then after that is iGen or Gen Z, which is me, 1995 to 2012. And uh, Gen Alpha is after that, which is 2013 to 2025. So yeah, Generation Alpha are the kids that are growing up now. Which yeah, are... but the oldest in Generation Alpha is six years old. Yeah. So their opinions don't really matter right now. And most of Gen Z doesn't matter right now either, because like half of them are under the age of 18. So maybe they're talking about Gen Z that are, that are the ones that are kind of like in yeah. the middle. Yeah, we don't really care about anything. <clears throat> like, you don't... You don't really you you understand the good and bad for both. Yeah, for we're both. the ones that came up with the OK Boomer. <clears throat> and the thing is, the millennials are the millennials are the ones that are over sensitive. Hold up, about what what did I just? I saw something about Markiplier. But uh, yeah, millennials are the ones that are over sensitive about everything, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I'm not, but you know. Quiz time. A steel type move is used on a fire type will be not very effective. I know it is very effective. Hold up, his last name is Ash actually Fishbach? Wait, that was right? A fire move used oh, I oh frick, I wanted to battle it. I didn't know his actual name is Fishbach. Fourth question, quiz time. 
True or false, teammate contains... Oh, he's not Hawaiian-American. He's, he's, he's Korean-American. I got that but right, I guess. in Hawaii. I saw something on here that said Markiplier's YouTube was banned. Challenger hash, tell me. Oh no, Markiplier viewers banned from YouTube. Yeah. Tell me, who are you about to battle? Blaine, the Cinnabar Island gym leader, a fire type Pokemon pro, a hot quiz master, doesn't really mean old guy in sunglasses. Yeah, that's all right. So I got two I of them right. Like, yep, I am an old guy in sunglasses. I got two things wrong, or two questions right. I wanted to get them all wrong so I could battle all the frickin' trainers. Um, <clears throat> they handled the quiz in this differently. In the original, you went through a path where you had to answer the quizzes, but this one is just like this. There's no pathway. It's like a straight f shot. You have to do it all in one. Oh, his ties burn. That's pretty funny. I didn't realize that. I like Blaine. He, he reminded me of Master Roshi. You know what we're about to do? That? No, we're not gonna fart. We're gonna zip his out. Wow, I didn't one shot it. <laughs> Sock. <laughs> you know, the thing is, um, <clears throat> the other one, the one with the white hair, she probably could get in, though, because she's not really. Yeah. Sh She's not showing, um, she's not really, like, sexual, that's the thing. Her butt is hanging out. Eh, I don't know, I think And, they... like, her cleavage, too. There's no, it doesn't show her cleavage, though. Yeah, it does. <clears throat> you can't see it, like, you can't see, it. there's no opening. Let me see. <clears throat> oh, like a small little opening. The same thing Bayonetta has. But I do think that maybe like her, the the short skirt could have could hurt her chances. Yeah, it's not a skirt. It's one of those Japanese things that only cover the front and back. I know it's Japanese too. You know, but it would still hurt the chances of the character getting in because it's a yeah. female character. Now, if it was a guy, it'd be perfectly fine. Yeah, no one would care. I mean, that's why they don't care about Shulk being pretty much in his underwear. I know you don't, you like it. I think it's funny. Yeah, Steve's gonna be a very big help in this battle. RK9, no, we're gonna keep out Blastoise. I think I used uh, Articuno for these ones last time, but, but I forgot Articuno is a bad choice because it's a. Uh, Ice. Yeah. What the frick was that? Arctic Uno. That's where you go to Antarctica and play Uno. Let's heal you. Hyper Potion. He's doing it again. Freaking people posting music. Posting nudes. Music. Music. Oh, he's confused. Fine. I wish every Pokemon game had an announcer. Like, from Pokemon. Oh, yeah, that would be so cool if they had it for this. Yeah. Um, maybe the new one will have it, because they're technically in sort of like a big stadium. I doubt it, though. I heard there might be voice acting for it, though. And if it is, it's probably just oh, like... Oh, it's Raichu! Oh, yeah, Raichu. We need to play the original Pokemon Stadium games. Well, so you can smack me down on it again? We need to play the first one. The first one, we kind of were evenly matched in that one. Were we? Well, yeah, because we could shoot... The, the rules were different. We were able to have, like, a six Pokemon match. And the second one, you can only have three for some reason. Yeah, didn't you, like, choose six Pokemon, but you could only battle with three? Yeah. I don't understand why they did that, and I couldn't figure out how to change the rules. 
I think I had like to beat the story mode or something for that. I don't remember. <clears throat> when are you ever gonna get those other two characters in Final Fantasy IX? By the way, I have no idea. Do you even know where the, where how far deep nope. they are in the game? No. Nope. <clears throat> you never looked up anything about it. So you're going in there blind. Yeah. That's how I play most of my games. Well, same here, but... Except for Ring Fit. I had to know a little bit about that. Well, I mean, obviously, I watch gameplay and stuff for most of the games that I buy and whatnot, but, like... Did we... I forgot, like, last weekend we didn't do anything. We did, like, a couple of episodes of Luigi's Mansion 3... Yeah. And then you fell asleep because you were tired. Because you decided to stay up all freaking night before the convention. And then you slept on the floor. But then there's that one guy in the chair. <laughs> like, you thought you were tired. That, that dude was... That was out. <laughs> Take it. Why does it like? What does that mean? You're, I don't know. You're poking at it, so it's bap in your hand. Playing with it. I don't have enough berries to give you a pour. They sent us ten-year-old child on his own. Imagine that just being a thing in real life. Here you go, son. Here's some money. Here's some rocks. Go throw out in animals and f catch them and make them fight each other. Rocks? Yeah, because we can't catch them with balls, so you have to throw, throw rocks at them to weaken them. Didn't they have that in the Safari Zone? Yeah, they did. You could throw rocks at a Pokemon in the original. To deal like, damage to catch them. No, it didn't deal damage. It just kind of like... it. It Well, yeah, it didn't like bring their health bar down, but it, it weakened them... Like, in a sense, like it would usually make them run away if you if you were if you were unlucky though. But it was the only way of weakening them to catch them because you couldn't battle in there. Yeah, you couldn't bring your own Pokemon. Which battle. I don't understand. I feel like having a battle would have been a lot less than just literally you're just chucking rocks at them. Like yeah, like okay, don't don't use your Pokemon to battle these other Pokemon like normal. Here, take a bag of rocks and just chuck them at these innocent animals. I can't... I feel like... Pokemon is messed up. Like, this is this game is the only one where you're not, like, battling wild Pokemon to catch them. You're just throwing balls at them. But then you proceed to catch them and take them into, basically, dog fights. Wow, you caught most of your Pokemon with Pokeballs. Yeah, they're... That's because all these Pokemon are my original ones that I got at the beginning of the game. <laughs> if I remember correctly, let me see... That's because you suck. Pikachu, obviously, was the first Pokemon I got. Pigeons. Um, where did I meet Pigeons? Yeah, Route 1. That was the one of the first Pokemon. Viridian Forest. I meet... Uh, that was one of the... Uh, just... Boom. That was one That was one of the Snorlaxes blocking the path. Wait, that, how much does it weigh? 742 pounds. That's almost a, a ton, isn't it? Yeah, a ton is 1,000. Um, uh, that was one of the first Pokemon I met. Route 1. Uh, Vermilion City, I got that from the from the uh, the uh, Officer Jenny, who was giving it to me. Yeah. Wow, Pikachu's 1 foot and 11 pounds? God. This one's 4 feet and 74 pounds. Can you imagine a 4 foot freaking bird flying at you? Six foot, two hundred and twenty four pounds, a six foot frog. This is only five feet. God, it's Terry. I'm taller than this thing. Like this thing if I if this thing stood up to me, where would it be? Like what, right here? No. Where would it be? You're like five foot eleven, it would probably be at like the bottom of your head. It's probably like super round, oh my god. 